along with be some first meat trick here at your service and for some game the for some reason the game was being hidden there even though it was fully active but uh yeah welcome back to new Unleashed forever 2 a spine arms way and uh, yeah i put in the new <laughs> ai generated art into the background of well the priest screen uh, this uh, this scene and the outro i i need to double check if i put them in the brb and now uh, brb is just a layer on top of this I, I'll, I'll need to double check if I put it everywhere, that, which is, well, knowing me, unlikely. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, ta -da -da -da. yeah, last time uh, I got a bit annoyed with this game. A bit? Just a teeny tiny bit, yeah. Mm, uh. Bullshit! <laughs> Anyways, to save all of us a bunch of pain, I just did it off screen, and yeah, all I got for it was 300 uh, skill points for the total. There is probably extra skill points you can get for getting all of them, but yeah, I was just way too tired and frustrated by it all. I just let as many NPCs grab them as they you know, wanted, though they still left three hanging, so I still had to get, well, yakety sacks all around the freaking place. Yeah, and we add on resources, and this has been known as it more worse levels especially that part yeah. and this is one of the second largest levels even yeah so let's hope it doesn't last too much longer or at the very least that my monitor survives it if it gets too much and go find kamal wherever the hell he is hiding don't punch the monitor okay we we don't have a welder, so we're probably going to pick one up. Okay, I've, I've tagged both of the cops, or at least two of them. I think there was a third, I'm not entirely sure, because, well, I tried to cast this place from my mind as best as possible. And, yeah, so those are tagged. Uh, that one isn't. Yeah, uh, and... whatever I saw, it seemed to recommend, was recommend to tag them as you're done. But also to use bananas, since... Yeah, once they trip, it does take them a little bit a moment for them to get up. Yeah. At least enough time for you to get away. True, but they'll still be looking for a hell of a long time. I, I did use the points that we got to upgrade stealth, so hopefully evasion does mean that they will give up sooner. And there's Kamal. Also, hi in the chat, Brilius. You doing well? Ooh, Barry! Out of order phone booth near the movie theater. I left a package for you. The combination is 32, 46, 27. Good luck. Okay. Who is this? Is it a Kamal? Might be the only one with maybe a, a big maybe authentic Indian accent. Just a big maybe. I, I don't have. My only reference is sadly a poo. This is not a good reference. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Out of order phone booth. Or... But yeah, uh, welcome Berelius. It has been a while we saw you around. Yeah. Okay, he's moving away. Now where is that phone booth? Uh, yeah, the, the, from what I've seen, the oh, there it is. The only consequence to failing to grab uh, wanted posters is that... Uh, well, the, the civilians that have them will run away from you screaming, though that doesn't seem to have alerted anyone. Okay, he's gone. There we go. Agent Archer, Evil Alliance is headquartered in the old movie theater across the street. I suppose it suits their theatrical overdramatic modus operandi. I was able to obtain a diagram of the building that indicates points at which demolition charges could cause the greatest structural damage. We'll have to find explosives on site. Come on. P.S. Santa sent its package for you. Okay. Let's see. Okay, I'm guessing the star is the entry point. Then one that of the us. It might also be a summoning circle. <laughs> uh, okay, if there was anything else there, I didn't see it. Oh, we... Oh, a welder, okay. 
So that's how we're going to get in. Okay. Don't uh, scare people with that. <laughs> Yeah, to most it would just look like a fancy, you know, an overly designed <clears throat> can of hairspray <laughs> until they see it do this. There we go. Uh, but yeah, by now we're we're done with uh, post commentating the second stream of this game, uh, which we had to split into two parts because, well, it was taking so damn long. <clears throat> yeah. Oh dear. And yeah, let's hope that that doesn't happen again because yeah, we had <laughs> we the, we had to do the second recording like a week later. And yeah, we're not too good at post commentating. We're already bad at normal commentating. But it, it probably would be easier if it had somehow muted us both. But yeah. we had to speak over it alone with myself only being the one originally working. So. Yeah, yeah. It, it became really awkward. Uh, probably a good idea for next time, if it does eventually happen or post commentary is needed on something sp uh, part, yeah, smaller, to lower the volume of the actual recording. Because, yeah, I get the feeling <laughs> that's going to be very annoying to listen to, to people for people. Anyways, uh, to associate team leader Madhu, I think I actually pronounced that correctly. From team member Vijay. Uh, sir, I respectfully submit we change the name of Operation Venkatachalapati. People are confused with it, uh, confusing it with Operation uh, Vetalachalapati. It is demoralizing to be confused with this that disgraceful incident. We suggest a name change. Uh, Operation Shakti? It has a nice ring, yes? We Oh, I see. The only difference is Venk and then Vala. <laughs> okay. What the heck? <laughs> Let's see. We still. Actually, we do have our pistol now. You just got 700. But if you find it, uh, let me know. Soon. Uh, we hit. I think it was 200 something earlier. Yeah, but hmm. you, you touched the door and it rose up. Uh, hello. Uh, okay. Ammunition sound for picking up a coin. Okay. Normal. I, I, I've said it earlier, but what? Why so little <laughs> ammo for this freaking thing? Like, we are. We are literally at the maximum that we can use for this. What? Oh yes, I suppose he did. I haven't seen it. Must be pretty important, eh? Who's there? Not really. I be here with backup. Oh. Okay. Hey, inter I feel like, unlike the others, we act more accidentally interrupt their conversations. Way too easy. Well, if really was it said it was uh, had the same humor as the other one? Yeah, but... that was be a lot better dialogue. Hey. Yeah, so I don't know if it was his same humor or, or not, since... Yeah, we keep accidentally interrupting them here, unlike the other one. I think it might have been more hinting towards something. A, a lot of facial tissue used by someone with a nasty... Okay. Ew. Batik handkerchief? The heck is batik? Is that a pattern or material? A, no a idea. Hint? Hmm. Um. Okay, I saw this, so let's look. Let's... To team member Vajay, you know, Vajay, v, v, I, I get, think I got it correct earlier, but now I'm messing it up. Uh, Vijay, uh, from Madhu, uh, Vijay, I cannot believe you are bringing you know, this up now. Uh, marketing has already approved Operation Venka. <laughs> Do you know what a hassle it is to pick a new name? I make no promises. Uh. How would you like to get served? 
Okay. <laughs> okay, it, it's better. It's better dialogue so far with these guys. Wait, there was an ammo box I picked up. What? Oh, oh, oh it's with it. These explosives are for next Thursday's big operation, so make sure you lock them in the secret film vault where they'll be safe. Not yeah. much of a fault. This is no place for sleeping. Also, before I forget, apparently the no voice actor for Kate you. here did not only do Kate. Yeah, also the ninjas. And oh, Isuka. This I promise. Yeah. So the awkwardness with uh, the dialogue between them two might simply be to is the voice actress speaking to herself. Picture of Shasti. Okay. Uh, uh, let's be honest. When you do dialogue between yourself, it's actually harder yeah. than you would think it'd be. The way I very much doubt they would record it in one go, like. Uh, that she has to swap voices in the middle of it. Probably they'll do just uh, voices for one character, wait and have pauses in between for the other, and then the other uh, you know, they do the other side. But yeah. <clears throat> okay, now they're talking. Why does it not fit on the leatherhead? <laughs> Are they really just wasting so much time bickering over a stupid name? Oh, hello, Sun Gun. Not oh, that you'll yeah. see any use. I miss that mascara to massacre. <laughs> well, that is what we're doing. Well, yeah, I, I thought you're using the damn thing to do a massacre. <laughs> yep. And that's Ink pushing at the door, which is, well, well, it's not locked, but it is closed so entirely, so she can't get in. Uh, yeah, Ink over the last few days has been oddly affectionate as in that she comes to she you know, she climbs up onto my desk and just will keep doing it even if I you know, push her off you know, they'll just pick her up and just, you know, and put her away like that uh, she'll just run back up and you know, starts lying down on my mouse mat which makes it rather awkward to play so I had to lock her out poor <laughs> <sighs> Uh, from Madu to market, uh, no, from marketing. May Lord uh, Ganesha's sacred axe remove your left pinky. Have you not heard of uh, Shakti Cola? They would probably happily slap us with a trademark infringement. We have already exceeded our budget. Your request is denied with a capital D. But why do you care about <laughs> copyright when you're an evil organization in the first place? And second, I don't think they would, they could uh, sue you over, well. Naming an operation like that. Yeah, it's, it's a uh, secret operation, even. Well, at least he's honest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we need to get up there. And that will be... Uh, oh, no. Oh, no, now I'm vibing. It, it is nice combat music, as that idiot looks for us. But... Yeah. The... It, it's something about... The... This port as if is nice. They got might also be to be actually had a semi break from playing this. Yeah, that kind of helps. I was honestly you know, during some of the times that I would have been able to stream normally, but I was considering just skipping over an episode of this and going straight for Shante. Uh, but yeah, that hasn't needed. Uh, my mood has improved enough to well, not not need to anymore. Yeah. Uh, hey, I just realized. You, you said you have been having issues sleeping, correct? Yeah, I've been having that recently, yeah. My favorite part is where she starts to undress, and then the truck drives through the wall. I was laughing so hard. So the shot! You've given yourself Here I come! You said something about shot? <laughs> You're getting shot. Prepare for suffering! Yeah, okay. I think you see here what I mean. In the other games, we at least had a chance to eavesdrop. Yeah. But in in this game, we we mostly been using the AK-47 or this little pea shooter, which makes stealth a whole lot more annoying. 
Yeah, which makes but it gives us a lot it, less opportunities to actually, well, listen in. Yeah, and even when we try, another patrol spot us. Yeah, I'm just the inconsistency on stealth. So, I would presume that there it, there could be a lot of good dialogue in and around, but. Yeah, since we're failing more at stealth than usual. Hello. Yeah, and uh, some of them may, uh, may not even do to do with stealth. It's just we don't expect someone to come from that direction. They, we, no. we, I think people have said that the stealth system needs more work, and there is way too few areas that actually allows you to stealth properly. Yeah, again, because the only stealth weapon we have at the moment. Have, or so far have been the, this little pea shooter pistol and the crossbow, which we haven't seen in quite a while since... Yeah, and that's, that's not it. It's actually the biggest stealth issue with this game is not the weapon, surprisingly. It's the, the environment. Detection. That as well, but also the, the detection seems really off. Like, sometimes they spot us if, even if we're uh, hidden or crouch behind something, though I could assume that it, that would be them going to take can basically see Kate's hat, uh, hat, uh, head, or some hat if she's wearing one. But other times, at the distance, they, they can spot us from really freaking far away as well. Yeah, so if they remaster this, stealth part is the one that needs the most polish. Yeah, maybe just completely remove that as a skill. Let's see. The monthly reports must be filed by tomorrow, tomorrow morning. Also, make sure the box office receipts are totaled. You know how the boss feels about ma ma mathematics. Yes, because I'm sure you have forgotten it. The combination to the safe is 626. Okay, that's actually useful <laughs> intel for him. Oh. <clears throat> Let's see. That's the front door. Okay. Oh dear. From here, from here on, I'll try to be more stealthy again. Uh, any more points that we get? Let's see. Uh, actually, no. This is already. That should already be good enough for us to be able to stealth decently, or at least get instant kill headshots. And yes. Yeah, that was another problem we've been having. Or is that I did when I did manage to sneak around that some enemies just not wouldn't die in a single headshot even went from stealth, which yeah. well, would run would lead to them running off and alerting everyone. Uh, team member of uh, G to Muda, alas, my friend, once again the marketing department has proven their worthlessness. <laughs> we are stuck with Project Venka. <laughs> <Tell out. laughs> uh, also, so these are film wheel cases. Normally, when you see these, they're they're round, but I, this makes sense. They, they, they this way they'll actually stay in place if you set them somewhere without them le needing to lean it. Yeah, and also it uh, it makes it probably easier to take them out. Yeah. Hmm. If I if I ever were to find a a film case, uh, be it a round or. Uh, Octagonal like that, octagonal because I ate corners. Uh, I would probably buy that just for the fun of it. I could probably I could make a candy tin out of it or something. Oh dear. Trademark search Venka uh, Tachala Party. We have found only two possible infringements on this name for this name. One is a small uh, papaya plantation. The other is a rodent removal service. We feel there are sufficiently they are these are sufficiently distinct to cause no issues. Total amount due for search, 10,000 rupees. Okay. Who's making no <laughs> okay, he was alerted, so he didn't take as much damage. No, no. Let's see, anything we can find in here? That was a reaction? Uh, cease and desist from Venkatadla <laughs> rodent removal to Mr. Ba, ba Madu. Uh, Mr. Madu, this letter serves as official notice of your uh, trademark infringement. Please desist immediately. We will see you in court. What is it with these people and their freaking cop? I, 
I'm pretty sure in the origin in the first No One Lives Forever, they also had problems with you know, copyrights or harm did at least with some sort of singing group. <laughs> But no, something. not a singing group. Shampoo. <laughs> uh, okay. it, it's at least it was more entertaining shampoo. than most of the stuff we've seen recently in this game. Yeah, do we, I don't, uh, many agree that the Russian level was the best. Then again, we did miss out a lot of comedy there, but we did see there was a... Well, people were planning to revolt and... People are very tired of cabbage soup. Yeah. We're, we still didn't manage to get you know, complete any of those side object, you know, objectives to see what they were actually up to. But I wouldn't... Yeah. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if what they, the one the conspiracy was about was actually just completely sabotaging the kitchen or something. I would not be surprised. One more. Uh, to maintenance uh, from Madhu. Have you seen the season the assist letter? I assume maintenance will take care of that uh, of the matter in the usual fashion. On second thought, make it extra painful. Uh, surely I must have done something quite evil in my former life to deserve such headaches. Or, or maybe it's the stuff you're doing currently. <laughs> you know, as it part gods. of this evil association. Uh. Uh, okay, yeah, I can see what they mean. That there's still the same humor. So my only critique is it will be the harm soldiers they like they really took a step back with them uh, more like they they took a backwards leap uh, did a double <laughs> did a double uh, somersault and managed to land on their head on a cactus yeah like sure you could make them still look a bit comical evil but that is looking competent yeah like a purple suit with a yellow cap or something with yellow gloves just looks looks more like a hazmat suit something yeah good news the time for revenge has come the harm activities director just you know, reserved 30 seats for thursday's night show or thursday night show we can ambush them as soon as the show begins please issue bullets to the men but be careful not to exceed our weekly allotment okay so they are they, they were actually coming here for a show. <laughs> the headquarters of one of their rivals. Ugh. Okay, oh dear. And this, this. Also. Okay, I can see how you could fit 30 seats in here, but they need to find a lot, a lot more seats. It's actually been a while since I've been to the, the cinema. Same. Do I don't miss it, but... I get the idea or the charm of it, but nowadays... I can see why people just prefer to watch the movie at home for... Just more practical sense. Do you need to go to the bathroom? You can pause it. Yeah. Easy and not miss a lot just because you need to go to the bathroom. I I wanted to go to the cinema rather recently. I wanted to see the uh, the new Spider-Man and Doctor Strange movies, uh, like uh, No Way Home and Multiverse of Madness. But yeah, I just couldn't convince anyone in my family to actually come with. So yeah, I eventually didn't go. Uh, I didn't go alone because I don't, I've never been to the cinema alone. Maybe I should start with that. No, hmm. have I? Just here's the thing. Cinema alone sounds kind of desperate. Sad? They would not say desperate. Just sad in a way. Like but mostly people see going to cinema as a group activity for the better or worse. Which is probably yeah. also why people prefer staying home since. Let's be honest. When you try to watch an animated comedy, then you hear kids screaming and all that. Kind of gets a bit annoying. Yeah, but I'll need to double check, but I might. Besides some of the Marvel movies, I'm not sure there were actually any good movies in cinemas here recently. 
But yeah, let's move on finally before we make this into a yeah. 10 minute start <laughs> loading screen. Yeah. Uh, chapter 8 The Art of Murder, The Vault. Having proven her value to harm, Kate has secured a job with the very organization she has vowed to destroy. A higher security clear and clearance should help her get close to the prize, the main vault. There she hopes to find the missing piece of the puzzle. Unfortunately, the vault is off limits to all but the highest ranking harm employees, so the biggest challenge still lies ahead. If only she could have unearthed better intelligence about the security countermeasures she must face. Is that... Is... Hmm... Does that mean if we looked around more, we could have found something that could have talked about that? Hmm. Sure. Impressed. You're hired. It's an entry-level position, but I think you'll find the salary and benefits very competitive. Welcome to Harp. There we go. Just <laughs> a bit janky stepping up. Hmm. Okay, we can't well, talk with you any further. Okay. I also got that. No, no, that means the harm knows about the ambush. You should wash your hands with hot water. Is um, that supposed to be code for something, Kamal? Maybe do that. Actually, just came up with some extremely weirdly relevant. Jar of Ghee, whatever the hell that is. Okay, pop up from the driver update you know, thing that I have, that, or something. But why did that just pop up? Okay. I suggest you wash your hands with hot water. Hmm. Uh, Anything else go to the bathroom? Yeah, he probably hid something in the bathroom then. <clears throat> To Dr. Kuzman, Antarctica base, from Anoop Banajir, uh, Harm India headquarters, Project Omega materials. The supply of chemicals you requested has been shipped to McMurdo via the Falkland Islands. That stash of tea you wanted is in the red box. Enjoy, my friend. <laughs> okay, now after we reading. have some leads again. They are bad at destroying, but they're supposed to destroy afterwards, aren't they? Yeah. Let's see, we have we haven't been in here before. Let's see. I must say that I do like Indian architecture with the pillars and such. Oh, yeah. They know how to make some nice pillars and walls, that's for sure. So they are extremely varied. I know that they depending on the region of India, the architecture can vary extremely. Okay. Like, some areas look like they're more coming in with other texture in Thailand, for example. While others with more Middle East, since... I don't know... It might be due to it used to be several kingdoms. Likely. Are you the new secretary? Uh, I could sure use a massage. Can you make coffee? Someone wants an early grave. And just like with Unity, they're completely underestimating Kate. This is probably the worst thing they can do. And yeah. a letter? No. On the table. It's cutlery. Oh. Okay, so our objective... And yeah, reach the lower level without killing anyone. Recover information in Project Omega. Yeah. Wait, I, just remember, I think there was a note in the shelf. Are we here? Yeah, in the kitchen. I noticed that uh, in the last episode. I oh, know, it's just a clipboard. Oh. Let's see. We couldn't open this before. Or we could have tried. There was someone sleeping right next to it, so it probably would have been a bad idea. Hmm. I do wonder if we... We had it one time at least so far that something we didn't do in an earlier miss, in an earlier part at least, had consequences later on uh, in the Russian base during with the escape and such. I do wonder if we could have found actually we could have found info on the security measures here. Maybe. 
Like, I don't think there's a alternate ending in this game, since it's not old enough for that, but... Yeah. It might have uh, that uh, you may make some things easier for you along the line. Let's see. And of course, Tomorrow. bonus XP. From Bruno. I must thank you sincerely for your invaluable and selfless assistance in this matter. I'm not entirely sure what has motivated you to help us, but I assure you that Unity will compensate you generously. Also, should you find yourself in need of employment as a consequence of your actions, I'm sure we can make arrangements. Agent Arthur, getting into the vault won't be easy. First, you'll, need, you'll have to bypass the electronic gates and security cameras. You should also expect to find guards on duty in the lower area. Unfortunately, I haven't been, I haven't been beyond that point. So I'm not sure what you'll face, but I've heard Anoop talking about the light fixtures on the walls. I suppose they're useful in some way. Good luck. Thank you, Kamal. Well, be right back. Just gonna put some food into the machine. And since my headphones are still recharging, yeah, and not be able to... Actually, I can just temporarily unplug them. Yeah. So I can still hear you. There you I'm go. guessing there's going to be lasers of some sort. Either the lethal variation or detection lasers. Let's see. So, Atiti Gevil Bava. Dance I have ever heard of that book. Let's see. Anything in here? A pack of gum. <laughs> I guess we could. I can't guess we could block off lasers with that or something. There's a lot of light fixtures down there. I'm guessing either lasers or some sort of uh, <clears throat> switch mechanism. Go nope. back. I mean, not plug back in the cable for now. I just plug the cable. Back in after the stream for it to be recharging. Okay. It's. Uh, hmm. If it's, it's, it is a long cable, just. If it's easier to move your head about when need to without thinking about a cable. Yeah. Which is why I prefer wireless uh, headsets and such. <clears throat> yeah. Look. I have been fine with another headset that used to have an like, extremely long cable, so it was not really an issue, unless, well, I needed to leave the room. Okay, so we have camera disablers, tracking darts, and tranquilizers. I tell you, the woman is driving me crazy. I warned you not to marry her. That my wife, you idiot. Her mother. She was so sweet and friendly up until the wedding. Then she turned into a vicious demon. All she does is complain. Maybe you should remind her that she's living in your home. Are you crazy? Is she kill me? I'm thinking you need to be more assertive. You don't know this woman. She's dangerous. You work for one of the <laughs> evilest terrorist organizations on the planet. If anybody in your household is dangerous, my friend, I think it must be you, you know. When you put it like that, the logic suddenly becomes clear. How can I repay you? Don't mention it. I hate to see a good friend emasculated. Okay? <laughs> For once, it's not the mother-in-law causing problems. Okay. It was the mother-in-law. No, it was... I think he said his mother. Now I've, oh, Her mother. Oh, was it his mother? It matters little now. Okay, we'll need to move before he wakes up. Okay. Okay, that actually startled me. I've got you. Don't think you can escape so easily. I'm suddenly. I think they heard that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. 
I'm happy that they give you tranquilizers. For at least this little understood that uh, you're gonna need to shoot them with something. Yeah. Uh, oh, from the director. I've just finished reviewing the results to the latest security inspection and was pleased to see such a dramatic improvement in your rating for this year. Of course, it couldn't really have, uh, got, have got much worse, could it? Still, it's gratifying to note even a minor decline in your incompetence. Keep up the good work. Again, they didn't destroy it. Carbon copy to Bruno Lori from Kamal. Thank you for your generous offer. My motive for assisting you is simple. I am fed up. I do not pretend uh, that I am particularly right, righteous, uh, but recently my daughter Lexmi was born. Seeing her for the first time, I was filled with such an over, uh, overpowering love and peace that I wept. It was very difficult to go back to work and pretend to enjoy the company of these cartoon criminals and their petty screen schemes. I am sick of villainy. Uh, good a reason as any. Yeah, and... <laughs> He is honest about them. Yeah. What? Guessing those have something to do with this? Hmm. I mean... Ooh. Okay. So we turn these, and then... Oh, there we go. I hear someone crying. Probably the first one. Okay, this one now. This okay, actually clips. Okay, this is a clever puzzle. This one. Okay. <laughs> oh, that. Uh, hello. That jump scared me. What? Uh, from vicious, mean, and nasty animal importers, we regret that we have not been able to obtain any rabbit ferocious weasels for your death trap. Our supplier assures us the shipment is en route from Canada. In the meantime, please accept these temporary substitutes. While not as deadly as rabbit weasels, these creatures can be quite petulant. <laughs> okay, that was, that was a good one. <laughs> okay! <laughs> <laughs> clip bunnies. it! We're gonna need to clip that! Uh, Beryllius, can you clip that? Uh. I'll see about highlighting that after, if need be. Uh, come on. Really? Are, are we thwarted now by Kate's love of pastries? What a glitchy door? What the heck is... Okay, I think I might have bumped it. Yeah, I, it might have bumped into me whilst it was opening. Um... Quick load. Uh, weird, since... The, the doors don't seem to react to if you close to them or not uh, in that way. So far, they've just oh. been opened further. <laughs> okay. Uh, I was a bit too fast there, I guess. Uh, so, oh, can't read the name. Hey, hey, you, everyone, how it goes? Good so far. Uh, what? Can you read the name, the Hillian? Without Hillian. killing yourself. Uh, Lens two one uh, eight. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Lens twenty one eighty five. Uh, yeah, it's it's one of the, uh, the people I know that I invited to the server. Uh, hello, you doing oh, well? Right. Uh, going well, mostly here, even though we got impaled twice there. Okay. Okay. Return that. Okay, there's, there's little clamps that Aren't either block it or not. Okay. Okay, nice little detail that there's actually clamps that will block it or not. Yeah, you just need to wait for the clamps to do their work. Yeah, and the light to turn. Uh, 
I saw the text pop up, but uh, I'll wait for that. So this. I, I can nice read it. Let's see. Uh, from Lance, I think. Good to hear. Smile thingy. Limited to audio at the moment, but my shift is almost over. It's just about home time. All right. <laughs> That's always good to hear. And uh, uh, by the time you're home, we'll, we're actually, yeah, we might be done already. Uh, let's see. How far away can we decode this from? It's still nice to have you around. Wait, is it supposed to open only so? Okay. Is are we missing something here, or are we just are we are we just meant to leave that open? Now we're supposed to get in. Also, did bunnies again? <laughs> yeah, I think it was bunnies in one cat. If there was a cat, I missed it. If it was a cat, it looked only like Inky, but a bit more greyish. Is is this a glitch or something? Let's put that away. But there are all items in there, so... Yeah, we're supposed to be able to get in it. Uh, let me do a look. Is this a glitch or something? Hmm. Yeah, I know that there's been this game has some bugs, but I did not recall them mentioning like, this kind of game breaking one. Let's see, north to vault door. Let's see, stuck because of glitch. Okay. Uh, got past the little trap and the goofy trap. Uh, decoded, nothing happens. Shut the door and it opened. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not that there. Of course, I've closed everything down. Uh, to tell. Vault door glitch. No, that's the different. That's the wrong game. Uh, here, stuck in chapter eight. Mm -hmm. Right, that's the trap. Open the vault. Nothing happens. Decode the keypad. The turn won't open. Everyone, anyone else? Uh, to tell. Okay, the Lives Forever mod installed. It needs to be disabled. I didn't know anything about a mod like that. Uh, no mods. Tried being playing. No avail. Staying with the same problem. I'm trying running the game in compatibility mode. Shut. Hmm. Okay, apparently shooting the door help works if it doesn't open. It's already. Partially open. What's this? Hmm. Wait, did it just get bigger? Mm, no. Hmm. Wait, wait, shoot it again. But I think yeah. actually it opened a little bit bigger, but not big enough. But... Okay. And you called me crazy! Uh, well, you didn't call me crazy, but you get what oh. I mean. Finally, we get a, so a silenced SMG. Some ammo. Combat shotgun. Okay. That's a new. Oh, I think I heard people saying this is the best weapon in the game. Oop. From Kuzman, uh, well, my good friend, Project Omega is proceeding right on schedule. We've had a couple of minor setbacks, but nothing to worry about. The world will never forget 1966, the year of Omega. We're going to permanently raise the bar in evil doomsday schemes. Uh, so, what are you coming? Uh, so, when are you coming to visit me in Antarctica? I'm starved for in <laughs> intelligent conversation. We're about two hours due south of Rus uh, 
uh, with Kaya uh, by playing. There isn't much to do, but we have a ping pong table. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Hmm. Let's save up for the moment. And um, let's see. Do we need to go? I see. Two? Do we have to go through this again? Oh no, they're all green. Okay, they hit the override. And yeah, now we can go <laughs> killing. Ow. I don't think we care much about alarms at the moment. Completely missed. Yeah, so we are the punishment. I didn't know you could play marble game with corpses. They merged into one perfectly, concerningly enough. Armstrong is waiting for you. Go. The astronaut. You haven't got you to live. Okay. I look forward to this. Completely wipe out the local branch whilst we're at it. 12 gate <laughs> explosive. Okay. Did the Christmas come early for someone this year? It looks like. With good reason. Ooh. Santa is interested in additional intelligence to harm in his Indian operations. He has asked that you bug the phones of three key employees. These bugs will be recovered later by other agents, so you need only plant them to achieve your objective. Okay. Uh, that's going to be a lot easier now that everyone's dead. Oh dear gods. Uh, uh, how, do know? How, how does this... How does this episode feel so far for you today? A lot, a lot more liberating now that I've got a freaking shotgun to deal with my problems. <laughs> yeah. Just, and... just, just, <laughs> just sitting on top. It's, it's so oh, obvious yet so cute. Yeah. And also, I guess it, once we actually got rid of the worst parts of this larger area's uh, worst, air, worst things, Yes, it got a bit more enjoyable and comical again. Yeah. Uh, so, I get the feeling we're past the worst of it. I, again, this game is a bit of a mixed bag. And yeah, just highs and lows, and hopefully we'll be hitting the highs a lot more now. Uh, where could this last uh, phone be? <clears throat> Actually, there, there was this. There was an office over this way. Yeah, the, one of the I heard pe uh, one of the reviews uh, say is they love the cutscenes, like they're more lively. Which, yes, they move around a bit more, unlike the first one. Like there's actually body movement when they speak. But I do feel, feel like the dialogue took a hit. Yeah, but that they reduced the dialogue way too much. Can't open that. Hello, Kamal. Let's see, where's the last phone? It's a typewriter. There we go. A lot easier when you just have to wade through a pile of corpses to get around. Okay. Oh dear. I hope we can keep this thing. Because just having a silenced assault rifle, or SMG in this case, would just make this gate. It leads out to the street. Would make stealth a lot easier. <clears throat> Look what you did, you idiot! Me! This is your fault! My fault? You weren't even looking where you were going! That is an exaggeration! 
Maybe I looked away for a second, but you're the one who come racing around the corner like a maniac. I thought I saw a monkey. So did I. That's why I was looking back. Likely story. Why would a monkey chase you? Sometimes they smell my bananas. Last week a mob of them attacked me. They stole half my stock. They're always after my mangoes too. It seems we have a common enemy, my friend. You don't suppose? Suppose what? Can it be a coincidence that two fruit vendors should glimpse monkeys at the exact same moment, at the exact same street corner, causing them both to panic simultaneously, resulting in a collision that disables both carts? You mean they engineered this? Those bastards! Be wary, my friend! They may attack at any moment! They have guns! <laughs> okay, that, oh, that... that was just a lot better dialogue. <laughs> Yeah, and also, that also felt like a reference, the last bit was a reference to this special Apple mission in the last game, the bonus one. Yeah. Also, uh, Lance in chat, I love that quote. How, you know, how do I feel? A lot better now that I have a shotgun to solve my problems. <laughs> it's not uh, quite a quote. Oh dear. Okay. Oh dear. Uh, Let's try and get. Oh. 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 Of course, I go to the feet. Never mind. <laughs> it does yeah, it I, instant kill now. I, I, from here, that the conversation, I feel like. Oh, great. I sort of feel like we may have missed many of the good dialogues just because a random patrol came from the direction that we usually did not. Uh, need to worry about since, again, we were giving chances to eavesdrop usually. Yeah. So okay. it's nice we actually got the chance to listen in here for once. Oh. <laughs> Sniper rifle beats sword. Well, it might be good to take the sword still. No scope. Uh, yeah, let's grab it. The Total War, which is a very nice sword. A bit unique and very practical. It is a handguard. Yes, Ooh. and it has a very large pommel, the lower part, as a compensation for instead of having a longer handle and a pommel to balance the weight of the blade, it made the pommel bigger. Okay. Oh, that was the and last a, big sniper round. And it's a very good slashing weapon. Mm, this is actually where we were earlier. Oh, there's the sniper. Oh, we are out of armor. That's the first. No, not the first. But it, it has been a bit. <laughs> More med <meditators. laughs> I turn you into chutney. Okay, maybe it's just because they get to be rather dickish with <laughs> with the uh, Indian people, but uh, it does feel like they upgraded the dialogue and such a bunch here. So where the I saw you here, Armstrong. I'm pretty sure. Where the fuck did you go? Yeah, oh, I did. You know, another critique is they many see many people feel like the whole looting system was a uh, few steps backward and unnecessary. They, it, at least the, the one on YouTube I watched, uh, G-Man Lives. Uh, G-Man Lives, said that yeah, the, a pretty good one. Yeah, he, he did say that if they were to remaster it, just improve the stealth and just remove this uh, looting system. Just, just be able to walk over them instead. Uh, yeah. I didn't actually know he'd done an episode on this, and this is actually the same area where we were well, getting the Wanted posters before. He has done a few episodes, actually. Like a very old one that's very short, and then a, a new one from one or two years ago, I think? That I okay. watched. Uh, watched? Watched? <laughs> Be right back, I'll go grab my food and a drink. I apparently need it. Let's see. So... Yeah, you're not usual. Don't die. Or we feed you to Lance. 
Yeah, speaking of, uh, in chat, I guess depending on how that shotgun is set up, you could say it's a widespread solution to your problems. <laughs> uh, I can't hear Drakir groan, but I can certainly feel him groan. How about some pain, my friend? Also, I saw you here, Armstrong. Why the fuck are you running away? Actually, the vanishing on their own now. Okay. At least we can do a quick search to grab some ammo from them. There you are. In here. There we go. Invisible walls. Okay, I think I think I know what is coming up. So we'll wait for the cure a bit because I hear this part is certainly worth. <laughs> Paying attention to. Uh, so I'll just take a bit of a drink. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Let's see. Yep. Okay, it's either someone. Just a, a steam pop up there from someone who probably changed their name because I certainly don't know anyone by that nickname. Okay. <clears throat> uh, okay, let's give a bit more further care because he would probably, he pro really probably wants to see whatever part coming up here if it is what I'm thinking of. Um. Uh, Uh, let's see. Da, da, da. I, I'm. I'll need to double check my schedule, but I believe I should be able to stream again for a decent while. Um. Uh, hmm. Actually, now that. How how is my audio compared to everyone else's? Because I the. Hmm. The audio bar seems to be going low quite a bit. So. Hmm. I was not groaning, I was laughing. <laughs> okay, let's up the audio here a bit. Hmm. Test one, two. Three, four, five. Now, for some reason, my audio bar seems to be going quite low. Uh, can you speak up for a moment? Sure. What do you want me to say? The truth. Okay, it's it's about at the same value. Wait, oh, I see. That's what. Okay, it seems my audio input got in a different thing got reset. So let me lower this back down again. Hopefully, I didn't blow out anyone's eardrums with that. Uh. There we go. Autumn. <laughs> Okay. That was Helion. Uh, I hope I'm I'm uh, easier to hear now. I'll, I'll definitely need to double check the recording for this one. Uh, well, but yeah, let's. What are you up to? Lostway is able to hear you. I expected more of a challenge. What are you jabbering about? So, this is the mighty Kate Archer. I'm not impressed. When I get out of here, I'm gonna pound that pasty face of yours through the nearest wall. It's a long way down, mon ami. The only way you'll get out of that cage is to leak out. <laughs> like onion soup. <laughs> Sounds like. <laughs> oh, is there. Fuck off. <laughs> uh, fucking bicycle. course. <laughs> fucking mimes. <gasps> Pony! <laughs> no, dear, just tell me. Sir, come quickly. We have a problem outside. Wait, oh. 
Oh, hello. I seen a little bit of that from the game alive, but I did not see the finish. What? So yeah, I be I be wondering what he was trying to tell him. Is that? Okay, that that must be a glass cut. Okay, it sounds a little low by comparison. Your boat's still clear. Okay, so that I hope that did fix things a bit. Uh, ah. but... Bad from the other side. Stand back. I'm gonna run it. Uh, what? I accidentally clicked out inside the game for a moment there. And... Damn it, arms oh, wrong. Exactly what I had in mind. You uh, my luck. This door open, lassie. Vive la France! I'll get you. Oh dear. Why is the Why is the game not holding on to my mouse at the moment? Yeah, uh, but I reacted before first was the idea of Armstrong ramming. Okay, the fuck. Come on. What did you say? Take the mouse, hold it. There we go. Mimes. Uh, why is it? M1921 A1 SMG. That's a Tommy gun. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, I forgot they added the data. They re they removed a lot of the weapons in the older games, but they added this instead. And the reason I'm turning now is because the bloody mouse is still escaping. The hell is going on with this? That's options, controls, uh, mouse. Hmm. This is. Hmm. I dip. I don't know why the hell it's doing this. Uh, probably because I had to go out. Probably because I had to go out of the game to OBS. Let's see. Perhaps? Sacre bleu. My patience wears thin. For the a thousand time, rope poles begin with the right hand. The ne next one of you who per <laughs> perpetrates such in inexcusable, yeah, inexcusable incompetence in my presence shall have his left hand amputated as a permanent reminder of his stupidity. We practice a sacred art, my amis. I'll honor it, and you shall flourish in my grace, Pierre. Well, of course, he's called Pierre. I see you. Yeah, P Pierre is a nice name. Do I agree? It is a bit overused. Not a thing. Oh well, nothing. I might need to restart the game to cancel the mouse. Oh. Well. oh. Yeah. Okay, Not yeah. I... Mm. Okay. Quick save. And then quit. Yes. Okay, apparently the driver updater popped up because there's an outdated driver and it's the wireless. Actually, I, I think that's what's fricked. I think that's what's yeah, screwed up my. A headset and Bluetooth, so I'm definitely not going to update that. Yeah, not only listen to the done a non broken update. There we go. Continue. Just a quick little interruption. Now, I, I think that. Not I think. Okay, two of them spoke at the same time there in the exact same line, but I think what's actually up with that is that my computer has. Has an integrated uh, Bluetooth and a, a Bluetooth dongle hanging from it at the moment. And the internal one doesn't want to function with my equipment. Like, uh, <clears throat> my. Uh... Okay, he vanished quickly. Like, uh, my headset and my Xbox controller. So that's why I got the, the dongle, which does function. But before that, I had to deactivate. For that, I had to disable the uh, the internal Bluetooth. So whenever that gets fixed, it breaks everything else. Hey! So I might need to find if there's a way to permanently just remove that. So it's, I think it's part of one of the uh, hardware. Th I, I think it's completely integrated, so I can't actually remove it separately. Oh, hello. 
Yeah, well, I have integrated Bluetooth in my as well, but the only wireless I have is my headset. That's it. Okay. Which is probably why it has never really been acting up in that way. Lack of interest, probably. You don't think it's uh, sexism? I'm sure there's some of that, but it's not like we get a lot of resumes from women, eh? Maybe it's socialization, eh? Maybe girls grow up thinking crime is for men, so they don't consider it uh, as a career option. I'll ask my sister what she thinks. Okay, are we starting with the social commentary again? I am surprised at that. Then again, when, wait, when I think about it, hasn't it all. Hasn't there a lot of the recent year all felt like the 60s again? Uh, how exactly do you mean? Uh, think to it, do you get what I mean? Let's see. Catherine Ann Archer, aka the Fox. Da -da -da. Lost confirmed contact Siberia. Uh, uh, got another demerit. Don't tell me. Let me guess. He thinks this you're walking really this way. Hurry! No. Come, come on, they they couldn't have Something seen or wrong. heard me there. Uh. Hold it. Wait. Hold on. Who he talked to? I guess it was these two talking. Wait. Did did he have that delay reaction? Yeah, delayed reaction to what you mean? Just spotting you. Hmm. Could have been that, which again would be a point on the stealth six system being broken. Yeah, and what I meant me earlier is there's a lot of talk nowadays, and uh, hypocrites and fanatics on both sides making things just worse. Muscle flash on their guns is a bit exaggerated. Ooh, now I have you. Okay, pull on that ammo. But yeah, it, it's it's becoming a lot clearer to a lot of people. Hopefully, that uh, there's a lot of bullshit going on in the world. Yeah. I'm low on ammo with this. Hello. The art of pantomime. The technique is impressive. Artistry is interesting. Impressive alone does not stand the test of time. The next fellow comes along and is taller than you, quicker, wealthier. Impressive is based on relatives. Better or worse. Interesting stands alone. When something is interesting, time stops. This is the key. Okay. I'm not sure if I agree with that or not. With that statement you just wrote there. La Troupe Poussant du Nine. Wait, did they all arrive on that? I'm guessing so. Oh, wait, add more. Never mind then. So she's not a. Can't believe I'm seeing this. A minecart. Uh, it would have more, been more akin to a clown cart then. Oh no, not those things. Oh. Uh, I don't like those. I get the feeling we're going to deal with a part where Kate is. <laughs> where Kate is uh, hypnotized. No idea. I only know that I. Get me out of here! Oh, hello. Open this door! Oh, I thought it was in the cart. It wouldn't make sense for him to be there. Uh, yeah, you were saying? I, I said, I thought he was in the car to, uh, at first. Uh, be before that, you were going to say something. Open up, damn it! Oh! Uh, I think I said uh, that I would not be, uh, probably not be hypnotized by those spinny things. I'd be more nauseous. <laughs> yeah. Cover me! 
Holy! You got a lot of XP now! Oh, skill points are me. SP. Uh, I would stand less of a chance if you knew how to actually hide. Cover. Also, this thing sounds like the, uh, the stand-like SMG in the first game. Yeah, maybe... Wait, wait, aren't Tommy guns supposed to be louder? Probably, yeah. Uh, also, Armstrong, uh, prove your name or get out. Yeah, and also, wasn't Tommy Gun supposed to become a military weapon? Yeah. He just arrived a bit too late. Yep. <laughs> really that nasally <laughs> Uh How to sound French, nasal. Also, I guess it would... These are clown cars, after all. <laughs> How many of these guys there are? Holy. And I'm sure French means nasal. I guess it depends on the area. For I heard many French and not not many speak like this. Yeah, it, it, it is how to you know, it, yeah, how to sound fake French. <laughs> Be nasal. Ah. They're mine. You can't have them. The girl must be punished. I'm seeing to it personally. Damn you! The, where the fuck did you pull those from? Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll report this to the director. I report this to the director. <laughs> Make sure he leaves. Now. Not so fast, Frenchie. Mm. Wait, what? Hurry, I'll drive, you shoot. Yep. Yep. Hold on tight. <laughs> and that explains how he moves around like well, a Dalek. Oh. <laughs> uh, Armstrong, I'm pretty sure we could have walked faster. I was going to go, but I'm afraid more disappointed. Uh, I was Armstrong. expecting something more Mechanical. comically intimidating. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I knew I, we'd I, have this part where, well, we'd be doing this. I did not expect him to be a, a short person on a long unicycle. Yeah, but again. Oh my god, there's a point. I was kind of hoping it was not like he had a large arsenal of weapons or something, like a like a robotic body or something. <laughs> there you are. Oh, we have limited ammo actually, because there's no ammo count. And this is again an area being reused. So not that it's not that it's a, really a bad thing in here. Do we even need to reload or anything? Yes, we do. Hold tight, chop down, dead ahead. Yep. <laughs> Armstrong, you're going. You are going sideways. Also, I, he's he's. He has the same voice lines as his mooks. I'm not be surprised at the same voice actor. What the hell? Can you... uh, okay, I am smiling through this. Yeah, but it's more just because of the, the sheer absurdity. Yeah, the armor comic again. I do. I mean, I agree. It's maybe a bit too comical compared to the other game. It, it, I'd say it leans more on the farcical almost. We will be almost. so lucky next time. I, I'm pretty sure we could have gone faster there if if Armstrong had just given Kate a piggyback ride. Uh, you know what? I think you're right. Uh, but... Oop. We're running out of time. 
Finally, some good news for a change. All this diplomacy crap's giving me a headache. Our agents are closing in as we speak. I hope so. You really impressed me back there. Listen to you, Clay. All you had to do was grab him, you dumb orcs. Clay, Clay, Clay. Well, at least you got his coat. Maybe he'll freeze to death. <laughs> Shut up. Make me. Excuse me, Agent Archer. The site should be just beyond that ridge ahead. That's the same pilot? Aunt Phyllis tells me you still haven't called her. The woman is lying on her deathbed, and you can't be bothered to make a telephone call. Mother, Aunt Phyllis used to keep me locked in the cellar whenever you sent me to stay with her. If I'd known what an ingrate you turn out to be, I would have locked you in the cellar too. I swear it's your father. Goodbye, Mummy. Lovely to hear your voice. Don't you? Are the preparations complete? Yes, sir. The division is currently en route to the test area. Good. We'll kill two birds with one stone. Is there something else? <laughs> there has been a slight complication. Okay, that looks a bit better. It just yeah. the mixture of purple and yellow doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, they're not in that. Like, I think you can do purple and yellow look good, just they fail in this case. Yeah. Let's see. Chapter 9, Ice Station Evil, Antarctica. The trail of clues has led Kate and Armstrong to a secret facility in Antarctica where Harm is conducting Project Omega. Once they discover its actual nature, they can plot a means of disrupting it, assuming they don't strangle each other first. <laughs> uh, okay, the, th the pieces are starting to fall together now in the end, with... Uh, the charm that it, the original had. Yeah, I just took a little bit of a mo bit to get there. And also, yeah. Lon said something to you in chat? Yeah, maybe he'll freeze to death. Well, it is the Cold War. <laughs> I sort of wonder, do you... Do, do you... Do you two... share notes? Of jokes with each other for you two are oh, sounding very similar here at the moment. Uh, just similar sense of humor. Certainly. Uh. Something's wrong. I didn't realize I was in the company of a genius. I've kicked your ass before. I can do it again. When did you become such a bully? Wait here. I'll have a look around. Oh, I hope you don't break a nail. Do you want to wait in the plane? Don't expect me to hold your pass for you this time. Also, aren't you freezing? Like, uh, typically underneath kilts, you're supposed to wear nothing. So uh, I'm guessing Armstrong's getting the worst case of blue balls in on the planet at the moment. Quite literally. Hello. Out of control. Yeah! Okay. Who is he? To Zukov yep. from Kuzman. A monthly update. General, we are ready to begin field testing next week. It's three weeks ahead of schedule. Have your comrades made a, this fi a final decision regarding this once in a lifetime opportunity? Be advised there are others in other interested parties. Also, if you sign up within the next 48 hours, we'll throw in our extended 18-month warranty. I'm guessing someone uh, changed job from car salesman to uh, e to evil scientist or something. Okay, what the hell is actually going on here i'm concerned that there's a hole in the roof did, did they accidentally create a evil hole yeah i'm hmm we can't go this way we can't go that way for they said he is out of control wait the... there we go did they mutate the mime? I think that'd be a bit 
too quick of a thing. But uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they actually did try to make a super soldier serum or something. Really, you got rid of the silencer, Kate? Do we have any other... No, we have only the stupid little pistol. You yeah, went into also... a... Yeah. Um, I really want to take a look at your skills. Yeah, 4,000. We could upgrade one of these to maximum. Uh, yeah, let's go with marksman or weapons. Hmm. This would upgrade the damage we do to full or maximum. But with this, it would, well, make us pinpoint accurate. But we are already really freaking accurate, so let's go with damage. In case, that will also help in case we run into some boss fights. Yeah. And we are not that badly uh, aiming with this gun at the moment. Yeah. Uh, please arrange to have the demolition charges in lab 2 move the maintenance shed at once. I shouldn't have to point out that it's a bad idea to store explosives in close proximity to where we're doing weapon tests. Perhaps you'd like to stow them under your cots instead. <laughs> okay. I'm missing the cats. Projector is blocking that. Uh, oh no, cat! I was to yeah. give a friend a a, a gift joke about Alf, a alien puppy guy from yeah. the 70s or 80s who likes to eat cats. And lo and behold, I did not expect to see a gift of him. Actually, on the screen, trying to eat a cat head first. Journal of Melbert Hodgkins, day 189. In the past week, subject number 42, Anders Joseph, lieutenant, has become increasingly hostile. We've increased his dosage, but I fear we may have uh, uh, we may have to give up on him. There is one other option, but it will require us to transport him to the underwater facility in the Egen. Or uh, Egen? Whatever for reconditioning. Yeah, I know about Elf. I I'd actually forgotten about his uh, cat eating stuff or so. It... Really? Yeah, I didn't even know it myself when I was younger. But apparently, I missed that all the time for the little bits. I only got to know where he ate cats thanks to people mentioning it in memes. Hmm. Okay. Uh... And seeing the, the yeah, and seeing gif of him actually eating a cat on screen it makes me not want to watch the show at all. I think it's supposed to be just a gag. Uh, yeah, probably they won't actually let him eat a cat. Uh, I I will send you the gif you see yourself. What I mean, it, it it's it is a little bit. I think it's a fake cat, but I just made a little bit... Due to video quality, it looks just... You use... Just looks so damn real that it actually looks... Disturbing. Okay. That again for the skill points. And the first time I got to know he ate cats was uh, someone showing here for him. Picking up a knife and running away after a cat. We need a fuse for that. Also, I'm going to put down a quick save here so we don't have to run all the way through that again. All the yeah. way, I ran through it in less than a minute. Yeah, as it is, people say they miss the 80s. I'm split. Part of me miss it, but a lot of it don't miss it. Hmm. Let's see, Project Omega and you. If you're like me, you've seen the Project Omega status reports in the monthly newsletter and asked yourself, what is Project Omega anyway? Well, I can't tell you what it is until you sign a non-disclosure agreement and submit to extensive psychological reprogramming, but I can tell you that Project Omega is the key to harm's future, and it needs your help. Sign up today at your local Human Resources Bureau and help pave the way to a glorious tomorrow. Destroy all the reading. Okay, I feel like the story of the reading is a 
by gag they really go ham with this uh, in this game yeah and we need to find a valve to turn off the steam hmm. wait wait aren't you playing this on steam no <laughs> i just had to do it Got wrench forgot to pick that up again Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna Here. grab a pier, so you know, the usual. Don't die. I, you know what? It, Lawrence, make sure he doesn't die. <laughs> okay, there's the fuse. And there we go. Power restored. Uh, now we can use the decoder. To open up that gate, though I think it just leads back here. So don't ask me how this thing is decoding a numpad. It... Hmm. Is this where we were? No, that is new territory. Let's take a bit of a look around. Oh, oh. that needs to be repaired. It's been completely cut. Hmm. And what was completely cut? Yeah, I wanted the power line to this uh, notepad here. It's, it's been completely cut. So we're actually stuck in here for the moment until we can repair that. Wait, it's... It's in a hard laboratory and it's cut. Let's see. Lieutenant Joseph Anders, collected from US military base in Norway during Operation Press Gang, has a wife, Marianne, a daughter, Abigail, and a terrier, Sparky. Distinguished military career with plenty of combat experience. Notes, in terms of his professional background, he's the ideal candidate, but I'm concerned about his strong family ties. Monitor carefully, Dr. Kusman. Okay, so they've got us, they've got some sort of super soldiers thing going on. Uh, but wait, the people, uh, they aren't using, well, the, the people who are used for it aren't exactly volunteers. Um, hold on. It says, when does USA have military bases in Norway? No clue. That doesn't... Then again, they, they, they already, in a, a note in this game, wrote Oslo, Sweden. Oslo is a capital of Norway. Oslo is not in Sweden. It could be that they had some of the Scandinavian countries mixed up. Probably, but again... Yeah, I think I told you, you before that they had done some tests and it has not been... How to say... And you're able to hear the numbers of how many fought that Denmark was the capital of Sweden in USA was something like 60% mm. or something of the people they asked thought Denmark was the capital of Sweden and they thought Denmark was a city uh, then again Link in Good Mythical Morning thought Amsterdam was in Sweden as well. Yeah, there's a, po a lot of uh, topical non-information in uh, certain places. That's Acme Chemical Company. Uh, Dr. Kuzman is the customer. 600 liters of embalming fluid, 660 kilograms of sodium bicarbonate, 20 boxes of red hot... Uh, red hot sugar poppers. Okay. What? And oh, you, you forgot to. You said. You, you need to put. Uh, you upgrade again. Yeah, we have enough uh, to upgrade something. Uh, General Nikolai Zhukov reassigned to Siberia after a falling out with uh, General Kopat in Petrograd. Uh, Pet, yeah, Petrograd. May have involved Zhukov's affair uh, with Kopet's 18-year-old wife or 24-year-old daughter. 
Okay, not his first wife. Uh, Zukov is the perfect target for Operation Omega, possessing the ideal combination of military rank and mental mediocrity to see the benefits of the project without taking into consideration its shortcomings. Okay, then it's a good thing we knocked him out then. Permanently with lead. Yeah. Um, uh, don't forget to upgrade for... I think the, when you died, you had to save the upgrade. There we go. There we go. Just to make triple sure. But I, uh, yeah. Uh, up there, behind that locked door, is the doorknob that we need to get into the shack where we f will get the explosives. Oop. Abigail. Wait, th that's Zukov's daughter? <laughs> okay. Or. No, I think Abigail was someone else's oh. daughter. Oh, yeah. From the USA Lieutenant base Anders. in Norway. Yeah, that, that's Anders' daughter. Oh, thank you. Um, I'm starting to get the thing feels of, of this place. Uh, we regret we are un unable to replace your broken doorknob door as we're busy moving the explosives out of the maintenance shed. Okay. Uh, to Kuzman from the director. I'm sure I don't need to point out that, that we are in peril of fa no, no, falling irrevocably behind schedule, Doctor. Nor should I have to remind you that you personally signed off on this deadline. Interesting words. Deadline, don't you think? I want results, Dr. Kuzman, and I want them on schedule and on budget. If we miss our ship dates, we'll be slipping into the holiday season. If that happens, I won't have to kill you. The marketing department will do it for me. <laughs> okay, they really fear the marketing department in this uh, game, huh? And, uh... Yeah! Something has been smashed... Uh, there's the ping pong table. Something has been smashing through walls around here. Uh, best bet, Anders is out off in the snow doing fuck all. Worst case, he's somewhere hidden around here. Again, from the director to Kuzman, and Kuzman, Yenir Branch has failed us. It seems that our favorite meddlesome super spy, Kate Archer, got inside our vault. We must accelerate the schedule. It's time for the super soldiers have a, had a field test, don't you think? I want the entire division en route to India before Unity arrives at your facility. You must verify that the super soldiers are as invulnerable to damage as you promise. And I don't want to hear any excuses about your so-called renegade lieutenant. If you can't control your own test subjects, I'll find a mad scientist who can. Well, the Indian branch is in trouble. Oh, that... Okay, that Ooh. is intimidating. Oh, no. They look a bit Wait. like hell gassed. Hold on. Oh, they have a cannon on their back. Did they take inspiration from Resident Evil? I guess so. It looks like a military invasion oh, of a Mr. X. Um, yep. uh, okay, it's not a cannon, it's a laser. It's a laser cannon! Yeah, I, I'd say they managed to conquer a small island nation with those. Give me that. Give me that. Uh, not for All right. monthly newsletter. Overall results are highly satisfactory. We're we're almost two full weeks ahead of schedule. That said, we've also experienced an unfortunate setback. Subject number 42, one of our two lieutenants, is still showing signs of anomaly. The episodes have been escalating in frequency and aggression. We recommend full reconditioning at the earliest opportunity. Project Omega can't afford any rogues. Bye-bye. Yeah, They look like some sort of mix between the Hellgast and Nuke and the Tyrants from Resident Evil. 
Kinda. Oh dear. Um. For some reason, I was getting worried they may have done a destructible environment in this area. Okay, we have the key so we can get in here, get the doorknob, get into the shed, get back up here, and get down through that. Uh, hello, big boy. Okay, he's a bit slow on his shots. You? Never mind. <laughs> Another thing to click. To Dr. Kuzman <laughs> from Dimit uh, uh, Dimitri Volkov, Director of Executive Ax uh, Action. It's been a while since we heard from him. Thank you for the lovely Get Well uh, Soon card. It was very considerate in light of the fact that it was I who assassinated your uncle in Oslo all those years ago. I understand you and he were close. As to the nature of my mishap, I was vacationing in Switzerland shortly after the demise of Baroness Dumas, her illustrious former associate director. Uh, while skiing in the Alps, I reached out to cl out, uh, an unsuspecting child with my ski pole as I sped past and got tangled up with his sister. We plummeted off a hundred foot cliff into a small pleasant cafe. Unfortunately, she broke my fall. Okay, so it was a skiing accident and not Kate kicking his ass all the way up and down the mountain. <laughs> Ilian, no, it was us. This is a blatant lie. Uh, may, uh, explosives, ammo. Can we? Or it, but did, didn't we see him get crushed in the last game? Uh, no, he he showed up. He showed up after that as well. Uh, fully hale and hearty. Oh, I mean, it was that then. But it, 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 it almost felt like a lie for him to say, to save face, not admit he got beaten up by Kate. Uh, maybe that was part of it. But he was probably fuming enough to be distracted, <laughs> to actually plummet down the mountainside. He's going to bust through that wall, isn't he? We're back here. We're all going to die. This way. Uh, Hurry. Oh, hello there. Yep. Poor Hodgkins. Try to warn them. The other subjects were fine, but that one. That one was different. Willpower. That's what it was. We should have increased its chemical treatments. Poor, poor Hodgkins. I'm guessing Hodgkins was the one that just came out of the closet. Uh, can we refine if we find some copper wire? Uh, this is locked. Or was? Yeah, it is locked. We can open it. Okay, there's some. That didn't look entirely copper, but it's probably insulated. That's why. Where did he just break through? Don't hurt me. I think he did hurt him. It's blocked. We have that photo of Abigail. Maybe we can Destroy. not sneak up too close. Uh, There's a good. note on the table. Never mind. Is there some way we can use that photo to snap him out or distract him? Need to lure him out for a while. Oh dear. Mm, no. No, this is a dead end. We don't want to be here. I thought we could get around him through here, but no. Not actually that good of a shot with that, even though, well, he did almost zap our nose off before. Now, the back isn't the best place to be putting <laughs> weaponry, unless it's a back-mounted rocket. 
do we have anything of use? Pistol ammo, okay. Uh, okay. I'm not seeing anything there. Okay, quickly. So you don't take, or have you already paper on the table? And there wasn't a. There was a paper on the table. Those, but we can't pick those. There okay. Was a, there was this loop. There was a Unity manual there. Escape alive. Hey, what's going on over there? Can you get through? Uh, you might want to stand back. Oh, golly. <laughs> Just, oh, golly. <laughs> you? That. Abigail! What was that? You don't want to know. You might want to run. We must go. Bad guys are coming. Many helicopters. Let them come. We're not leaving without Armstrong. Forget about me. We're trying to stop a war, remember? Sounded like the heavy from Team Fortress. <laughs> Kinda. I have the same uh, actor. Okay. Uh, also, before we get. I am taking news of uh, this percent present for this and that with heavy grain of salt. But many times I hear them, I, I do get concerned just pray they are false or heavily exaggerated. Uh, let's see. Chapter 10, The Curse of Kali, Proving Ground. Because of Kate's success in India, the director has ordered the destruction of Harm's Indian uh, headquarters as punishment. The attack will provide an ideal field test for the super soldiers before they are sent to... Mm, pardon? Before they are sent to Kios on their primary mission. Uh, although Kate has recovered vital information on Project Omega, she has decided to proceed directly to India in hopes of averting the tragedy that is likely to unfold once the assault begins. Hmm. I was half expecting we could pull out that photo to get him to stop or something. Any sense. Han's planning a field test. They're going to use the super soldiers to destroy their Indian headquarters as punishment. When? It may have already started. I'm on my way there. Alert the police and tell them not to try to fight back. Just evacuate the area. All right. But be careful. And send an intercept team to the Antarctic facility. Armstrong is still there. Consider it done. No, please! Are you Kate Archer? Yes. What's the situation? We are still evacuating the area. If your men can keep the soldiers busy. I'll see about getting those people out of there. Okay. Um. Oh, back in Kolkata. Like we saw in the in a picture he had gone, but they are only using the faces so far. Yeah. Uh. Uh, I didn't. I didn't get too good of a look at. Uh, uh, still, but it, it looked like the laser gun with, it was on their backs, or with uh, Anders it was. Oh, he, he has a gun. This one. The gate is locked. What gate is locked? Really? Oh, okay. This one just has a straight up 
plaque cannon or something. Oops. Wasn't that locked? Maybe he locked you... it through you. You just... You just needed the distraction to run away, didn't you? Also, we've got the Gordon SMG again. And... Okay, again they're using... Out. Yes, alien. Fire hurts. Nope. Okay, we need to put it out, but where do we even find water here? Hello, big boy. <laughs> okay, that was a... Holy! Where even is water here? Oh, sorry, this is the same area used again, but it... Again, it makes sense here because we are near their headquarters. So it makes sense to reuse the area. Yeah, like, I'm not against reusing areas and such. As long it makes sense. But then again, I have seen as it overused so much that I can become sad. Like, uh, really? You're being attacked and you're worried about the ice cream? Oh, for a lot of. Okay, I think like the, I think the laser cannon is mounted to the face. Oh, we can see here. It looks like it is, yeah. Uh, I admire your bravery, if not your intelligence. Oh dear. Uh, right, I was say, something I noticed with many EA games, likely thanks to the forcing BioWare and others to use the same program, is I seen. Anytime we see a bit of animation from uh, uh, Run the Dragon Age games or Star Wars game, I notice they have men exactly the same idle animation where they talk or just move. And this is in Dragon Age games, it's in Star Wars games, and it's. Uh. Uh. Oh, this, uh, oh, yeah, it was also in the Kingdoms of Amalur. I think that was because those games used the same engine. Also, where the hell is the water? Yeah, they, they are using the engine on so many games that they are re reusing this same animation almost way too much that it actually becomes yawing. So in chat, still an audio, but I heard something about <laughs> lasers from the face. That must be a beaming smile. Oh, and it looks like a... That's a wait. It looks like the duel has been won. So where the hell is the freaking water that we need to free this dumbass over here? So what? Ow. You I spin like fast for such a big guy. I still wonder, the, the ones with the laser, was that a reference to Cyclops? Could be. So, seriously, where is the water? Okay. Combat music getting funky. Okay, seriously, where? Ugh. Uh, I feel like, uh, like the water is somewhere easy. Like, is there a water barrel with a fire that you just need to shoot down? Not that I'm seeing. And yeah, there's two models it seems Beamface and Black Fucker. Really? The, li the lighter word? Really? <laughs> that that, that sounds like an interesting insult. Uh, this laser face is doing a better job at uh, things than uh, the one in a certain Marvel movie. Help me, someone! What do you even need help with? 
Oh, it's probably the fire. Did we pick up... No, we didn't pick up something to carry water. We don't have a sword. Uh... Can we just do sword to cut off their cables so they can't use the weapons? Or at least one of them? Okay. I don't think that's going to work since it's supposed to be invulnerable to damage. Seriously, where is this water that we need? It should be around here somewhere. You know, you could just climb out this. Yes, it's that same <laughs> insane one. I see Harji. Um... You know what? Maybe it's going to look this up. Yeah, this is just too stupid. Yeah, and... Uh. Oh. And we are about to go over time, so... Yeah, we might need... No, actually, we we have uh, about 10 more minutes. Nine now. Exactly. Oh, right. I almost forgot that. We were 10 minutes late. Move to water. And turn. A bucket. Yeah, uh, I think I saw a bucket somewhere. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I think I saw the bucket where you met the officer punching the big guy. Then we need to find a faucet somewhere. Of which there's supposedly only two. Out. There. Okay. Yeah, I was to say, let's take the bucket. But yeah, it was not a perfect moment to do that. Go. Fire over there, hello. It sounds like it whipped right behind us. That really in me. Where is the other faucet around here somewhere? Here's the thing I have to say. Maybe see they don't like escort quest. Because this game has done escort quest quite well. But me, there's one question I feel like many don't mention that is usually kind of annoying for this usually poorly implemented. And that's Extinguishing Fire's quest. Mm. There better be a faucet around here somewhere. Yeah, it, it, uh, needing to do, needing to empty it twice on it—that's just stupid. Uh. Bye. Uh, right after we get out of the good part of this game, it dumps right back down into why did they think this was a good idea territory? And we're going to die at this rate. I laser face, by laser face. But he didn't notice you? Not, not even a look back. And his armor uh, next to you? I think the. I think the moves might actually be different in different air regions. You yeah, go now to, yeah, now to say, say uh, Hadi. Oh, Hadi. Is coming back. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Uh, don't know either. I, I almost want to call him just Crazy Harry. So we reload really fast now. This is probably damn good in our case. Yeah. 
I'm guessing um, their weakness is going to be the back pass. Um. You. Okay, laser face noticed us. Yeah, it's probably a hardest. Yeah. Uh, uh, hard. Are we? Uh, uh, we have heard them say it before. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think Kate might be missing some eyebrows. Yeah, okay. Th this level is not bad. Just... The five thing could be there. better implemented. Can we actually... No, we can't go up like that. You hello. Ow. Uh, ah. Really? Ooh. We have a lot of skill points again. No. Uh, oh, come on. <laughs> this way? Yeah. I am happy the armor is soaking up the damage surprisingly good. Yeah. Okay, I was half expecting him to whiff the shot at that close distance. Okay. Where are we? are we supposed to? Nope. Where are we supposed to go here? Uh, we're gonna need another uh, armor soon. Seriously, where do we need to go from here? The path over there is blocked off and this leads to nowhere. Wait. And it's no, water we don't need to go back to the gate. Not here. No. Oh, come the that hell on. I, I just said it, we need to dump more water, and it was, I was correct. Uh. The, the... Okay. Is that second fucking faucet nearby? This is just, this is just stupid to the point of... Yeah. yeah. This level would have been fine if not for this. Like, we... The better we need to do is one time, not two, one time. And if it is like, two times, then I hope better hope for them that the faucet is over there. Yeah, or it's mad enough. Eat. As it is, have they only done it so you can need it to do the water once? It'd be, it, it, it'd be fine this level, but so far this level is fine. Just the this. Extinction fire is is the, definitely the thing really holding it back. Let's try something. No, nope. Even though we aren't even near the fire. Yeah. Yeah, that, that fucking that, second that, faucet. That, that, that's poor level padding, if that's a term. Is this thing open? No. no. I think I faked him out there by changing speed suddenly. Seriously, where is that other faucet? Or we just have to run back to the same one. More armor, armor! Thank you. Light armor, but better than nothing. Okay, those use the same ammo? Okay, last time, hopefully. Yeah. Uh, do, uh, do you agree with me that the, the thing to really hold this ba level back from being good or okay is this damn. Yeah. using the bucket twice. Like. It, it would have been a lot better if they had more faucets around the place. Like, have a faucet yeah. near each of the fires. Yeah, it, 
at least that would be smoothing it out. Really? This is the time you start picking a fight? Uh, oh, actually, you are you are on the offensive here, so you, it makes sense for you to actually come after me. And that's the time limit. Uh, Help me, someone! Let's finish up in here for the... at least. There was something on the end of flashing. Yeah, there were bandages. Oh. And we are as good as out of ammo. Yeah, pretty... yeah, we have only... Oh no, we don't have only two bullets, we only have two bullets... Okay, they don't need... For fuck's sake! Pause it better. There we go. This, this is a lot more manageable. Ugh. Yeah, but we lost time. But yeah, the the the, the one with the one boosters was worse. Yeah. And I will not call this have, this. Uh, this is far from the worst level, but yeah. This is the game we definitely be, uh, have a uh, mix pack. So there's things they're doing well here. What the fuck did you come from? But also some things they did bad. There, now fuck off you. Okay, is that that? That's that. Ms. Archer, I'm glad you came back. I have news about Magnus Armstrong. What is it? Is he all right? He's in custody of harm. Not for long. Why do I expect them to turn him into a super soldier? Oh god, that'd be terrifying. Okay, chapter 11, the interlopers, Unity Headquarters. With the technical specifications she recovered from the Antarctic facility, Kate feels confident that Dr. Shanker can come up with a means of... <clears throat> can come up with a means of combating the super soldiers. Meanwhile, the news that Armstrong is alive and in the custody of harm has given her a clear sense of purpose. She must find out where he is and devise a plan to rescue him. Okay, let's go through this and then we'll call it. Is this the information on the super soldiers? Everything I could find. Oh dear. Your glasses? Again? I think I left them in the cafeteria. I'll be right back. I knew there was something off about him there. Okay. That photograph looked like a picture of the dead team. Likely. Yep. <laughs> really? <laughs> Helian, let's be honest. It was more, only a matter of time until we saw laser sharks. Yeah, that, that, I think this is more just a sort, sort of the stealth scout uh, thing or infiltration. It's it, mini sub. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's a shark with a frogman in it. The shark ate the frogman? <laughs> Okay. Yeah, that, that was. Yeah. That, that, again, it might just be in part nostalgia for the first game that has me overlooking some of its flaws. But whatever flaws that game had, they are a lot less noticeable than this one's. But overall, yeah. it is still enjoyable. Yeah, they. Uh, I did hear that the 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 main area they took a good step forward. Mm -hmm. There were some areas that took a few steps back. Mm, more like a big and jump, main... if you ask me, but I'm biased. Yeah, as it is, I can agree that this game definitely could use a remaster to fix the technical issues. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if you can do something to improve the dialogue. Mm, not really, be without completely remaking things from the ground up. <clears throat> yeah, it says most of the story seems to be in the main menu screens or, but you know, between missions. Yeah, which is a. Yeah, it, it feels a bit dry with the dialogues and such. The previous one had a lot between as well, and here just a lot less. 
Still, yeah. overall, it is still an enjoyable game, despite some very frustrating bumps. Yeah. Okay. Oh, dear. But for now, uh, let's go look for someone to raid. So, moving over here. Okay, did we manage to replace the art Ooh, here? Um, hmm? What? Look how many are playing Warhammer 40k. Yeah, a lot of these are, and it currently has... a. Uh, 12,000, 12 12.8 thousand viewers on Dark Tides, which it hasn't officially released yet. It is currently in an, uh, a beta for people who pre-purchased the game. Not just pre-ordered, pre-purchased, uh, which, well, it <laughs> includes me. I was planning to do a stream of this, you know, of it eventually, uh, uh, some time, some days ago, last week or something, as a, an in-between thing or something. Uh, but yeah, that fell through. Uh, yeah, but yeah, let let's let's make this a bit easier and just note off who is online and streaming, who is <laughs> playing Dark Tide. We have Kani, and then we have Karine, The other, why did these seem to be streaming almost always at the same time? We have Horatio the Dwarf. We have the Lazy General. And we have Zerkovic, not surprising, and a new one face, Roko uh, uh, Perfrufe. Uh, 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 did I just swap? Okay, am I just blind or did I just swap games instead? Or did I completely no, no, it, that? It, it was Simpsons. Okay, my bad there, streaming The Simpsons in the run instead. But someone else who is streaming Dark Tide as well is Frain. Not sure if we've uh, rated them before, but uh, yeah, let, let's actually look at people who are streaming other things, like Varia XLP, who is streaming uh, Deus Ex Human Revolution on oh. maximum difficulty. For some reason, I was expecting you to say Deus Ex Human Resources. <laughs> and then we have WBPL76 streaming uh, fans of, yeah, Final Fantasy IV. Uh, Derpy Do is streaming VR chat. Okay. Oh, English slash Swedish PNG slash VTuber. Okay, someone you might like. And Touch Scaly Tail is currently playing Minecraft. And there's there it looked there. Judging from the title, it's uh, that Vault Hunters mod pack. I've tried it. Uh, I tried it a quick bit, uh, but I didn't get in anywhere far enough to actually find any of those vaults and speaking of oh. minecraft i've been up i've been thinking around on our minecraft world a bit uh, nothing major just small uh, mostly small adjustments like automating uh, metal and uh, <clears throat> putting in the putting in the elevator um let's see any others we have edit edward who is streaming sonic the hedgehog Yes, Sonic 06. Where is that? Let's see. The site is muted. The site is muted. Let's like a take a peek. Uh, peek. Oh yeah, they're they are streaming. <laughs> they are streaming Sonic 06. So uh, that would be a thing. Then we have Black Shadow 993, who is uh, streaming Dead Cells. And let's see, three recommended, or three viewers also watch this. Arc Angie streaming Project Zomboid. The Lore Runner streaming Pyro Year of the Dragon Reignited. And Nerd Cubed streaming God of War Ragnarok. Okay. Any of those that sound interesting? Here. I'd uh, I'd lean towards Black Shadow since well they're also a small streamer. Yeah, it is Shadow or. No, well, there's, there's there's not many options really. It says assuming they're playing the same game. Yeah. So all right, Shadow it is. Okay, copying name. I heard that I hear. Dead Souls is a good game, a really good game, but I haven't actually played it myself. Ronaldo slash raid paste. But before we start that, of course, 
Uh, thank you anyone who has been watching now or later. Uh, thank you, Brilius and Lance, for showing up and chatting along a bit. Uh, one more than the other, but not going to hold that against either of you. And uh, yeah, I, I hope you'll enjoy what you'll actually get to see when you watch the replay of this, Lance. <laughs> Uh, like as much as we've complained during part of this stream, I do still like most of this game, or at least some of the ideas they tried to put into the franchise. Um, yeah, and as always, thank you as well, Rakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And uh, yeah, let's start our raid. Um, in about two hours and a half or two and a half hours we'll probably be doing another stream this time with uh, shante and uh yeah you should be able to you know, watch that one in person lance so i i hope you enjoy that and i hope you enjoy the art that we <laughs> yeah you'll see I, I claim no ownership over any art that was used in the generation of this and i claim no ownership of this piece of art specifically if if people want it i could actually i think i just i put it on the discord server so anyone who is on there could just find it there and just in case uh, or anyone who would want it and is watching without an account or anything you can go find it there it's on the i actually forget which specific ones but i'll i'll, I'll slap it up in the general just in case uh but yeah uh, another stream later after dinner, hopefully. Uh, if not, it might need to be pushed back. Um, but hopefully not. Uh, other than that, tomorrow, Showcase Sunday. And actually, no other stream then, because I have an early shift in on Monday. So mostly, you know, Showcase Sunday. All right. But uh, until then, have a nice day. And yeah, until then. Be safe, everyone. And look out for seagulls. Come on.